And that's where the nectar is, the presence. So the more you become aware of it, the more in your daily life you disengage from your daily life and you come back home, it's coming back home to this place. The more you can feel it, the more it takes over. The more everything settles down, everything becomes quiet. It's not very difficult. It's really not difficult. You just have to take time off. Even though in the beginning, when you take time off, in the beginning, it appears to be kind of frightening or it appears to be, there's anxiousness in it. Like, what am I doing? I have so many things to do. But that's the trick. In the midst of all this stuff that are happening, you take time off and you come back to it. Do we have any other questions? I'll try. No, okay. said I will try. Yeah. Yeah, in the beginning, it sometimes feels like it's the most difficult thing to do in life. But, or it seems a little scary in the beginning. But it's amazing how transformative it is. Right. How are you doing, Karen? I'm fine. Fine. Sleepy? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. And okay. uh, I have some issues with my legs. Okay. And I have difficulties to accept it. I don't want it to be like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Right. Well, it's nice to see you. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> Hi, Paulina. Hi. Hi. Did, did you go to your dance class? Um, this, uh, the Gaga people. Right. Uh, I, I discovered it last week. Okay. And I actually will attend this week at Thursday. Okay. I'm so cool. excited. Cool. Mm -hmm. How long is it? Um, how long is it? One hour, I think. One hour. Okay. Good. I will, I will report. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Yeah. Right. I, I found a place near my home. They do a, a static dance. And it mm -hmm. happens on Tuesday and Thursdays. So, are you joining? Well, you know, you it's you it, you can drop in and drop out. You can just do it whenever you want because it's not a class that you join in. So, but uh, I went one time. I'm planning on going again uh, as soon as I I have a uh, free evening. So, fantastic. Yeah. And I'll report back to you as well. Looking forward. Yeah. Yeah. 
right. If you can talk about like January, February, a lot of people get the blues because there's not a lot of sunlight. Like when I was living in Chicago, I had seasonal affective disorder and I'd get really blue. Right. And maybe you could do some hints for anyone who might be Right. Like can you, did everybody hear you? Addressing the blues. Yeah. Yeah, she, she says, she, she says that I should talk about the blues that in January, February, she used to live in Chicago, right? Right. Right, and uh, it's kind of like Scandinavia, the weather. And in January, February, everybody gets the blues. And there's snow and not much sun. Yeah, there's a lot of snow and not much sun and not much light, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did you get over it? moved to California. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a seasonal affective disorder as a thing. It's called SAD. Right. Right. Yeah. Well. So the people aren't going to move here. Any suggestion? <laughs> I don't think I can teach Scandinavians how to go through their own winter. <laughs> If you haven't, I think they have figured it out how to do it. But um, yeah, the uh, basically for me is that uh, I have to be engaged into something creative and constructive. So. Uh, if I'm hitting, uh, like, I mean, my life is different than you, than you back in Sweden, Norway, or Denmark, or Germany, because, uh, and of course, we have a different kind of weather pattern here. And of course, when I do come to your countries, and I'm there in winter, or I'm there for a long period of time, I notice that for me, in order to keep my emotional emotional balance uh emotionally stay balanced the entire time is to be involved uh with things with creativity things i like and things that inspire me so then my attention shifts from the weather my attention goes into something i'm creating uh, that's, I mean, how I handle it, basically. But it would, I think, I don't know. Uh, I've never lived in a Scandinavian country for nine months a year in winter time to really come up with a formula of how to handle that. 